Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the World Cup 2023. Another massive fixture on this weekend going on in Pool B. The Springboks of South Africa going up against Scotland. It is a tough old battle. The Pool of Death is what Pool B has been labelled as. And South Africa missing a couple of vital players through Pollard and Lacania. And the Scotland team looking pretty stacked. It's set to be a huge game Scotland on some big improvements recently South Africa of course with that enormous win over New Zealand during the World Cup warm-ups as South Africa get us kicked off and underway Scotland managing to recover the ball but Ludiaga there with a superb interception piece of play as Fafta Clerk gets out to Damien Valemsa playing in that fly half shirt today out to Dialende a little bit of a loose pass but Mapimpi manages to pick up the ball great tackle though by the fullback from Scotland as South Africa try and play it quickly as Malcolm Marks on the charge there getting driven back himself in that tackle South Africa so good at the breakdown though the ball going loose the referee seems to have not spotted any sort of knock on there as Grant Gilchrist making some big meters further up the pitch Fafta Klerk managing to exploit the turnover once again by South Africa making the most in that breakdown area Damon Valemsa pops it out a little bit of a loose pass once again from the fly half though and Scotland get back on on the front foot a lot of switching hands of the ball in this game so far Scotland hold on to that one and now maybe they've got numbers out on the wing as Duhan van der Merwe tries to take it up doesn't get round too far but managing to get it back inside to the centre to make a couple more metres South Africa just trying to readjust their defensive line looking a little bit scattered at the minute as Xander Fagerson smashing up making a couple of extra metres through Scotland just going for those one-off runners as it stands at the minute Finn Russell getting wrapped up there by a couple of big South African defenders a little pop pass out from Diaga now out to Malcolm Marks to Mapimpi who's managed to get around Darcy Graham kicks the ball down the line there is an enormous hit though by Stuart Hogg in that full back position we'll go back and take a look at that as the ball went on a late tackle uh, the referee is saying it high looks like it hit him on the chest there is also an injury coming there for Mapimpi as well he does not look good Damien Valencia will move them up the pitch and will most likely have to be coming off Good meters made there as Mapimpi goes off. Kobus Reinach has had to come on on that winger position. South Africa opted for the 6-2 split today. Winger was one of the only positions not really covered, but Kobus Reinach, a very fast player, is having to move out onto the wing as Jesse Creel smashing his way up through the center. Also can play wing. Uh, they've opted, though, to go for uh, Kobus Reinach on the wing as opposed to the center. Probably a better move for him. Not going to be as much of a, uh, a tough piece of work for him as... Now then, what do they do from this position? Do they go for the scrum? Do they go for the kick to post? Do they kick it to corner and go for the driving wall? South Africa have opted for the scrum, the big power game. South Africa, can they make the most of this one? Scotland, of course, still down. That fullback through the yellow card that's gone on. Let's see what South Africa can do from this position. We know South Africa have a very dominant scrummaging setup. Let's see how they go from here. South Africa win it, and Fafta Klerk just thinks he sees a hole, opens up for him. He just runs it himself. No fullback to cover that position. Ali Price completely not judging where he was going to go with that one. Well done to Fafta Klerk to just hit that hole making the most of that extra man ball put in in the scrum South Africa with a solid scrummaging well done from Scotland to not let that one collapse and where does Fafta Klerk go just sees that the defenders are spread too wide between the centre and the scrum half Ali Price trying to run back for that one never going to get there and an easy put down for Fafta Klerk first kick at the post for Damien Valemsa can he make South Africa turn the five into the seven he does it goes through the posts nice and easily Scotland then will get this game kicked back off they've got to try and make the most of what they can do even with that man down they can still get some points maybe a penalty maybe even a drop goal just to close up that scoreboard a little bit they don't want to be losing too many points through to that yellow card and the first way to start that is with a superb turnover there in the breakdown well done I think that was Ferguson in the ruck they're managing to get his hands on the ball and rip that one out as Schumann tries to run it on a few more meters doesn't make it any further Grant Gilchrist filling in in the scrum half position now a couple of times it has Ali Price picked up an injury Finn Russell also now diving into that scrum half I think Ali Price is sort of trying to fill in a couple of different positions here with the fullback out and it's not really worked for this Kobus Reinach shows off a burst of pace on the wing but a great takedown there by Finn Russell making up for that earlier mistake 
and Scotland go for a quick line out and completely catch South African napping not ready for that one superb work by them we know the line out's a great place for South Africa to exploit in games like this they love the set piece and Scotland matching that one brilliantly by just going rapidly off the back of the player going into touch and suddenly they're making huge room down this wing Scotland are on the offensive they don't care that they were down that extra round they made up that extra round from that ball going into touch they're back up to 15 and suddenly South Africa look in all sorts of desperate positions as Duan van der Moer tries to run it up great tackle though coming in from Damien Dialende to recover there as Finn Russell tries to take it up through the middle South Africa will survive through a great turnover I think that was Marks on the floor managing to get that one Damien Valencia will kick them back into touch trying to clear their lines but only gets onto the outside of the 22 South Africa ready for a quicker line out on this one maybe Scotland not quite as set up as they wanted to be for that as Damien Valencia now tries to make his way down oh great pass to Dialende Day. Jesse Creel with a bit of a loose pass. Kobus Reinach finds himself on this wing once again. He kicks the ball on. Has he got the pace to get there? Damien Dialende is also with him. Oh, it's a great pickup though by Kobus Reinach playing out of position on the wing, just making the most of what he can to. Bit of a rubbish pass getting out to him. The fullback is now back on for Scotland, but a grubber kick around and Kobus Reinach there. Brilliant pickup by him. Of course, a scrum half by trade, so you know his handling is going to be good to pick up that ball bouncing along the ground and South Africa are off to a storming game for their opening game in the World Cup as Damien Valencia chips that one over to make it 14-0 of course missing Andre Pollard in this World Cup is a massive blow to this South African team they'll have to try and fill in in that position to make up that devastating loss as Xander Fagerson giving South Africa another easy exit what do they do here they've opted for another scrum they felt dominant in the last one and they want to go for it again Scotland will have to try and hold it they can't be giving away easy penalties like that the discipline will be slipping away from them and South Africa will just take these all day long as they opt for yet another scrum as it drops back and now Dwayne Vermeulen picks it up from the back of this scrum as he gets into Damien Valemsa out to Reinach once again what a game this boy is having out on the wing goes for a huge up and under the wind just keeping it in but well done by Darcy Gray in there to chase him down can South Africa go quickly Valemsa can't get that pass away and feels a little bit isolated both teams competing hard and Scotland come away with it the clock has turned red Scotland still not on the scoreboard they want to try and get something on through Pierre Schoeman probably not the player you wanted to be seen with that miles of open space when you've got players like Duhan van der Merwe and Darcy Gray in there but they made the most of it but South Africa have got another turnover the ball feels a little bit slippery today even though it's lovely sunshiny weather the ball is being all sorts of trouble for both teams in terms of handling as Kobus Reinach manages to get round one tackle of Darcy Graham. Scotland have pinned South Africa back. Should South Africa have just kicked the ball out? Scotland want to play on through Grant Gilchrist taking it up a couple more metres. South Africa absolutely commit to that ruck. They are not happy with where that one went in the last attack. Can they keep going to the right? Lou Diaga gets shut down by Sam Johnson out in that centre position. Fafta Clerk, a double tackle by Sam Johnson. Very good work from him. South Africa are going back. You can see Damien Dialende just dropping back. Kicks that one into touch to put South Africa going in at halftime. 14-0 in the lead. Well, what else would you expect from a game like this in the pool of death? We knew this was going to be a hard-fought battle. South Africa going up against Scotland, and you have to say the tail of the half has been more leaning towards South Africa in this game. That forward pack looking extremely dominant, not made any easy by the fact that Scotland got their yellow card earlier on in this first half. The fullback going in, big tackle on Mapimpi on the wing, maybe a bit harsh, looked to me like it was on the chest, but the referee called it as a high tackle, mitigated only to a yellow card but dropping down that extra man allowed the spring box to really open up in this game going for the scrum right in front of the post so hard to defend especially when a man down Fafta Klerk running over for that easy first try for South Africa kicked over by Damien Valemsa and then doubled down later on by the early replacement in this game Kobus Reinach having to move on to the wing for this game Jesse Creel could have potentially moved on to the wing but they've opted for Reinach just for his speed out on that wing and what a game he is having some lovely inroads down on that wing and and getting himself a try as well to take South Africa to 14-0. It's not been all bad for Scotland. Some superb defensive work by them, especially in the breakdown. Some fantastic turnovers just mitigating down that South African attack. But they need to get points on the board. We'll see how they can improve in the second half. Oh, 
on to the second half then and Finn Russell will get us kicked off and underway. What a lovely kick and what a great collection there running all the way through the South African defence. A little bit of miscommunication in that backfield and now an advantage from that offside tackle. South Africa looking in absolute disarray. It all kicked off. I think it was Hamish Watson actually getting this started off. Sia Khaleesi is the one who was penalised for offside. It was maybe a little bit cynical. Could have maybe looked at a yellow card. South Africa will be needing to watch out for those kickoffs that caught them completely off guard Scotland interesting choice here have gone for the three points towards post we'll see how Finn Russell gets on oh it's come off the post and the ball is still in live play you wouldn't be expecting a miss like that from that sort of range from Finn Russell and suddenly Scotland back on the offensive South Africa have to switch back into defensive duty as Duhan van der Merwe gets the shake around Chesling Colby to go over for a try you never know with Finn Russell was that actually planned all along there's just no way to know coming off the post Grant Gilchrist with a great pick up there smashing through the rest of the forwards completely throwing South Africa everyone assumed it was going over for the three points defensive line completely not there Duhan van der Merwe one on one with Chesling Colby gets a lovely spin around and Jesse Creel not going to stop him holding on to the shorts so second kick for Finn Russell in almost as many minutes and we'll see how he gets on with this one from the other side of the post the first kick pretty poor from him but it's turned out to be a really big bonus for them and that one just about squeaks in past the post. He's certainly aiming for those posts today. So South Africa got some big questions in this second half to think about as the score now. 14 points to 7. Scotland maybe getting back into this one. They cannot afford to go too far down on the scoreboard. Bonus points will also be important considering how tough their pool stage is. Any team can compete for that first, second or third place. So bonus points will be important as Cheslin Colby tries to make use of his pace down the wing but a superb tackle by the try scorer Duham van der Merwe there just to push him into touch as Scotland opt for a front throw it is stolen though by Evan Etzebeth he's a big man when he gets into the air Dwayne Vermeulen another large giant charging it up there Scotland looking potentially a little bit out of shape here Damien Dialende tries to get out to beat to Steph to Toy who bounces it off the ground who else is it but Kobus Reinach what a tackle by Darcy Graham on that right wing to shut him down I thought there was a second try coming in there oh it's an absolute mistake what just happened there we'll need to go back and look at that on the replay I think they got caught in two minds about what they wanted to do. A lovely charge down. Let's watch Kobus Reinach here. Great hands by Peter Steph Dutoy to get that ball out. Superb tackle there by the Scottish fullback. And you had to say, I thought this was a, an easy clear. Maybe they thought the wrong player was there. They just got the charge down in the tackle. The ball bouncing. Everyone on side. And Stephen Kitschoff steals a third try from out of nowhere. Scotland will be very, very disappointed to have conceded that one. Damien Valemsa steps up, not a great kick from him this time. Scotland then to get us kicked off again and South Africa will be keeping a closer eye on this one he says as the ball's allowed to bounce Grant Gilchrist managing to shut that one down unfortunately not getting the ball back this time Jesse Creel tries to kick it off oh but a player runs in front of the ball and suddenly Scotland are away once again Xander Ferguson gets it out to Duan van der Merwe he's already got one he's got two this game is just exploding into something completely special what a superb turnaround both teams are going at this one tooth and nail what on earth happened here Jesse Creel went for the kick the prop running in front of his line of sight the ball bouncing off his leg well collected there by Ferguson the ball popped out wide to Duan van der Merwe once again getting around Cheslin Colby had a very poor day in defence for Cheslin Colby today and South Africa say changes are needed Jasper Visa coming on to the pitch alongside of Bongi Umbanambi coming on in that front row Mostert is also on alongside of Quire Smith they are trying to make the most of that 6-2 split on the bench as Finn Russell steps up to convert that one over South Africa 19 Scotland 14 what a game this is turning into 25 minutes left on the clock let's see what both teams have left in the tank as Valemsa kicks Scotland all the way back to their 22 well chased there by the replacement subs coming on now let's see what impact those forwards make to this South African team Fafta Klerk just slowing up the ball a little bit as it goes up to Trevor Niakane out to Damien Dialende bit of a loose 
loose pass there to Kobus Reinach, just taking the space that he could see. Grant Gilchrist, though, getting over that ball and ripping it out. We've said his name a couple of times today. Grant Gilchrist, an absolute workhorse in this game. Vili LaRue now finds himself with the ball. Thinks he sees some room in that back space. The 50-22 is on. If he can get the bounce, it doesn't look he goes that his way. Oh, and Duan van der Merwe just beating defenders. We saw this in the Six Nations, how easy it is for him to get round those defenders. Another superb run from him. Oh, but a big turnover by South Africa. Suddenly, Scotland need to be careful. They cannot afford to just keep conceding any points now. They need to get back of that end of the field. Territory and possession are all important. Stuart Hogg kicking Scotland all the way back to the South African 22. It is a superb kick and the bounce works for him. Vili LaRue just tries to kick this off the park. It's another good return. Kick might not find touch as Duan van der Merwe once again just sidestepping all of the defenders for South Africa. Fafter Klerk coming to the rescue for the team in this one what a game this is turning into 67 minutes gone on the clock not a lot of time and there's a lot of things still to consider in this game both teams are in it for the win South Africa still need another try if they want to get the bonus point from this game bit of a loose pass going out there Kobus Ryanak of course not a natural winger unfortunately not quite in the position running a little bit too deep for this one and the ball bouncing out giving Scotland that line out but Eben Etzbeth once again so good in that line out managing to steal the ball Jasper Visa new onto the field alongside Quagga Smith, Damien Dialende to Jesse Creel. Oh no, it's opening up now for Cheslin Corby. Who's got the legs to chase him down? It's Chris Harris. Sorry, no, it's not. It's Duham van der Merwe. My goodness, if he wasn't putting in a man of the match performance already today, Duham van der Merwe is just saving Scotland and suddenly they open up once again. South Africa rushing into defensive mode. They've got to spread out wide because Darcy Graham's just as dangerous on the other wing as he shows and goes. A bit of dancing feet around a couple of South African defenders. They have to shut it down. Oh man, what an exciting game this one is turning into as Kobus Reinach tries to run around the outside of a couple of players. Damien Valemsa, oh no, has let the ball go loose. It's opening up. What is happening here as Scotland suddenly have a big opportunity right in front of the post. The three points won't do. The drop goal will not do. They need the try. The clock is counting down. There is only two minutes. One mistake, one dropped ball could end this for Scotland. Oh no, it's a massive turnover. Who got in there for that turnover? I think that was the captain, Sia Khaleesi. And David Dialende drops it back and just kicks it out. What a superb game this one turned out to be. 19 points to 14. Back and forth try scoring. Absolutely sensational. At halftime, I thought the Springboks were going to run away with this one. But Scotland came out in that second half and really, really took this game. 19 points to 14. The Springboks managed to hold on. I mean, one of the big talking points will be that missed penalty conversion by Finn Russell turning into the try. But the Springboks managing to hold out for this one. And they go on to take the top of Pool B. I hope you all enjoyed this one today, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.